Since the Apple event last week, everyone has been saying how good this budget tablet is and how good value for money it is. But what I want to see is how far we can push the iPad and what it can and can't do. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the following and how the iPad handles this. We'll have a look at gaming, some video editing, photo editing, general productivity, and web browsing. So what's changed since last year? Well, the iPad has been upgraded with an A13 chip instead of the A12. It now has a true tone display and it adapts to the temperature around you. A new 12 megapixel wide camera on the front, which you can use with center stage. The iPad only works with the Gen 1 pencil though. The size of the iPad is exactly the same as last year and it's actually three grams lighter. Finally, the battery power gives you 10 hours on Wi-Fi surfing the web or watching the video, but we're gonna test that in another video. Before we get to the unboxing, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified when I release more videos. Links to all the products are in the description below, which are linked to my Amazon affiliate. And if you find them useful, consider buying me a coffee or joining my Patreon, which again, the links are down below. What this does is help me bring you more videos like this. Let's get to the unboxing. So this is the iPad 9th gen, 64 gig. You can see that on the back just here. Apple actually got rid of their packaging or plastic packaging off the iPhones, but it doesn't seem like they've done that on the iPad just yet. So here is the iPad. So they have got rid of the plastic coating on here. So you can see it's more of a paper-based coat that's on here. Let's just pop that to the side for a second. You have the designed in California by Apple as you do in uh, every packaging. And then just some information on how to get it set up, how to use it, some of the basic gestures. And we have the charger, again in the plastic wrap, uh, in the uh, paper wrap, sorry, not the plastic. So that's just here and the charger itself. So USB-C one side and the lightning port on the other. So let's go ahead and pop this to the side because we don't really need this at this point. Our main focus and interest is the iPad itself. So let's open this up. We have the space gray model just here. So powering on the unit. And let's just quickly run through the setup. So I'm just gonna run through this. I'm gonna quickly go off and download some items on here so we can do some testing uh, on how quick some of these, uh, or how well the iPad performs. We now have the iPad set up with a couple of apps. So let's go ahead and have a little test and play around with them and see how they look. So initially, let's just go straight into a speed test. I did this on the iPhone in another video. Uh, so I'm gonna have a quick look at what this looks like on here. So I was getting around 250 meg down and about 40 up. So let's see how that looks on the iPad as well. Slightly better speed this morning. Um, I can tell you there's less people using the network. So again, it doesn't really surprise me in terms of uh, the speed. And the down upload speed is, yeah, 40 is about the max I get out of it anyway. So Fairly similar results, I would expect that. I'm sure they pretty much use the same Wi-Fi chip in both um, iPads and iPhones, so that's that one. Um, in terms of launching apps, uh, TikTok, it was fairly quick. Um, in terms of loading, Instagram, again, fairly quick in terms of loading. Um, YouTube. So you can load a video, it's fairly quick in here anyway. Lightroom, let's have a look at how this plays in terms of editing photos. So I did try and start playing around with this earlier. Um, if I quickly go to auto, makes a few uh, edit changes. I actually took this photo from the iPhone using the um, Pro Max with the new macro mode. So you can see, actually this is still fairly quick in terms of editing. Um, it doesn't really take a lot to, it's actually quite real time in terms of, you can see I'm moving this across. It's, it's holding its own. Doesn't seem to be freezing, uh, color grading. So if you want to color grade, you know, there we go. Nice to make the greens a little bit more vibrant. Detail, we can make it less or more detailed. And that, this one seems to take a, split second for it to do something. So 
Overall, in terms of Lightroom, it's uh, fairly quick in terms of editing photos. So I do have Photoshop Express on here, I don't think. So if we go into Edit Photo, and you can see we have a load of adjustments here. I have no idea how to use this. Pick out certain areas, you can zoom in, and you can really pick out some of the finer details. So yeah, that, that works quite well actually. Um, zoom in and pick up the parts you need in terms of masking. So again, no real uh, suffering in terms of performance here. It's doing it fairly quickly. Again, by no means am I a Photoshop expert. I was just picking a couple of random buttons to see how they work. Let's have a look at the uh, 3D benchmark test. So let's give this a run and see how this gets on. And here we go, uh, so 7,231. I think in terms of the iPhone when I ran this, it was in the 8,000 mark, so not too bad in terms of considering the iPhone's three times the price, four times the price of this. Um, average FPS, yeah, I was getting about 60 FPS on the iPhone, it's about 43 on here, but if you're a serious gamer, uh, you can play on the mobile, but if you want something a bit more high performance, you would probably look at something a little bit higher end. But in terms of this, for £319, I think this gives you a fairly decent performance. 94% than all other devices, it gives you the battery life didn't drop while it was running the test, and it was ranging between 30 and 56 frames per second. So that one was the benchmark test. Now the ones, obviously, the main ones that we want to have a look at are the, uh, so let's have a look at Call of Duty Mobile. In terms of the settings here, um, I'm going to put it on very high and it doesn't allow you to do both. So you can vary, I'm putting them both on very high. Uh, graphics quality, quality and frame rate, um, we want it to be realistic. Uh, water reflection, so I'm pretty much putting everything on that I can just to see how well the iPad performs. I think that's about it with this. So let's see how we get on. So everything's on uh, super max, everything's on high. So yeah, overall, I think this seems to be performing quite well. Like I said, I'm not the, uh, I'm not the best gamer, so um, excuse my gameplay. Is Call of Duty and let's look at the PUBG gaming as well so I know this is always a big game on here so let's let that load so we're in the settings of this game let's go to graphics straight away let's download the UHD graphics ultra realistic UHD is coming soon uh, we've gone with the ultra frame rate yeah there we go let's click OK with that uh, the new settings have been applied just waiting for the ultra HD to complete we can now select UHD, so that's now been upgraded. So we want uh, realistic, and we click OK. So the game needs to be restarted, so let's just close it and reopen it again. Okay, about this. Okay, so there we go. So we've upgraded all the settings, so let's go ahead and click Start, and let's see how we get on with the uh, new settings. Don't really have any issues in terms of gaming. We'll wait the um, till we actually go into the actual game itself because this is just the um, initial part. So you can see the game itself seems to be fairly good. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, but we're playing anyway. But you can see around the graphics seems to be really good. There's no choppiness. So again, I'll say it again for 300 pounds, 320 pounds for this iPad or 350 I think it is in the States. This is really good. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below whether you think this iPad is worth it, whether you would want to buy this or whether you would not. Let me know your thoughts on the iPad Gen 9. Do you think it's a good value for money? Would you use it in your scenario or would you pick another iPad? For me, I think this iPad's performed really well considering what we put it through and for £319 I don't think that's bad at all. If you've missed some of the latest videos on the Apple products, have a look at my playlist and you'll find everything there. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.